See, I don't usually do follow-ups for these kinds of videos, but a lot has happened since. Like when Brad Taste said that he was gonna log off, then kept posting, then said he would log off for real this time, then kept posting, logged off, and then logged back in. You know, in the meantime, you know, if any other criticism came Brad's way, he made sure to immediately lash out. Here's somebody quote tweeting him with a copy pasta of his tweet and his response. We literally laugh about you behind your back. You have no real friends. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so it's been pretty confusing on where he actually stands because all of the tweets he's made have been deleted Okay, all the back and forth he had with content creators people calling him out for shitty behavior By the way, if you want to know what that shitty behavior is watch the previous video You know if you if this is if you've not seen that, you know, you can check that out. That's cool The only thing that's been pretty clear has been <sighs> Brad tastes pro money stance Okay, because he made pretty clear that apparently the things he claimed were so incredibly important to him, you know, weren't that big of a deal really, and that he didn't actually feel that way about a statement, which opens up, up like a whole world of like, like hold on, you, you didn't actually mean that, and and you made up, you said all, you, you made, you try to make clear how much you mean it, but then it's not your actual opinion, or is it your opinion, and this is the lie, but. That whole thing is pretty confusing, I, I guess I'll let you be the judge of that. He has not really made like a final comment about this, you know, ignoring it on his main YouTube channel, etc. Actually, okay, he did make a YouTube video where he ignored all criticisms and completely misframed the situation and also did not own up to anything. There's actually going to be no stream chat on screen for uh, the foreseeable future. I, I basically pissed off the wrong crowd of people. You know, I don't I don't know Brad personally, but this comes off as insanely manipulative. <sighs> it's it's embarrassing, it's sad, but it's true and important to address. I did break my three year sobriety uh, from marijuana. But bringing up that you relapsed on weed in this context, it just seems like he's completely trying to like shift away the attention from the stuff he did, or I guess didn't do, because you know, if I was a V of Brad's and this was the first time I had seen anything about him, I would be pretty confused. I'd be like, okay, what's going on here? And you know, the way Brad frames it as like, oh, you know, I just made the wrong people angry. I don't know, is that accurate? I guess you guys can watch my video. I, tr I try to be as fair as possible, you know? It is completely possible that, you know, this was all terrible judgment on his part and, you know, I'm all for giving people second chances or whatever. But this whole thing, I don't know. This feels weird to me. This, like, back and forth about opinions, especially considering this guy is a critic, okay? And if I was a Brad Taste fan, I'd probably watch him for his opinions on stuff. And then when, you know, people don't like his opinions, he, he, he backflips right into a glass house. Like, what's going on, Brad? What, what do you actually think? Just... Just say it's fine, I promise. Nobody's going to hurt you, or don't speak up at all. But the way he frames this as if this was like an attack out of nowhere is kind of deceptive because he was the one who initiated all of this, right? He was pretty much throwing other people under the bus in the hopes of, you know, being able to appease the, you know, the woke mob. But after being rightfully criticized for it, he just kind of, you know, pulled back with like, well, I actually didn't say anything. I just, you know, said my opinion. But the, the problem that, that's presented by this is that Brad's decision-making or the way he forms his opinions seems to be pretty flawed for a critic, you know? As a personality, you know, it's perfectly fine to do this stuff. But the, the idea that, you know, when he attacks real people, you know, like the artists he criticizes, and I don't think this is all just based on music, you know, he does seem to have issues with real people and stuff, like Camilla Cabello, him not being able to recognize that, you know, maybe, you know, him criticizing these people in a similar manner as, you know, some people have criticized him is not the same. That just kind of feels weird to me, doesn't it? You can't do this, Brad, where you go like, oh, well, I can criticize people, you know, I can tear people apart with my platform. But, okay, when I do something, you know, all the people consider bad, you know, I'm innocent. <laughs> I, I, you know, I, I'm just a little boy. I'm just a little, I'm just a wee little boy with my weed addiction. I don't think that's particularly honest. And, you know, in an ideal world, I'd say, you know, Brad can have his opinions. He can watch them publicly. And, you know, either people respect it or they go, like, do fat criticism about it. You know, I don't support people who go out of their way to, like, attack him personally or, you know, say all this horrible stuff. Obviously, I don't think anybody condones that except for, you know, some insane minority. 
but this whole thing is kind of pathetic, right? I don't doubt that this is actually stressful for him, but this is part of having one of the easiest jobs in the world. Being a content creator is really, really easy. That's why so many people are doing it, okay? At the same time, I don't think there's a more rewarding job, you know? But don't forget that this is not an unwarranted attack by the internet, you know? Now, some of the comments I got from Brad fans were actually pretty fucking deranged. You implying someone in Palestine means all Jewish people die. Disgusting. You should be ashamed of yourself. From the river to the sea. Warning the guy who made this video is from Germany. No wonder he's a pro Israeli weirdo. <laughs> bro, really, both sides the idea of genocide. Yeah, bro. IDF soldiers slaughtering kids and women might have a point. Let's hear him out. Considering that the only thing I said in my video was this. I obviously feel sympathy, you know, for the Palestinian population. At the same time, I also feel sympathy for the Israeli population, okay? I am against war, I think. Killing people is probably bad, okay? Just so you guys know how I feel about this other stuff. I am against bad things. Yeah. Thanks guys for watching. See you in the next one. Bye bye.